So, and uh, we are in the home of Richard and Juanita Schubert. Schubert, is that correct? Yes. And uh, I just thought it was kind of interesting. They are involved in crafts and uh, wood. Uh, and Juanita is, is uh, the associate organist at the uh, Big United Methodist Church. Okay. And we have a, a pipe organ in our house. Now this is what was really intriguing. We walked in here and they have a whole pipe organ. I've never seen a whole pipe organ installed into a home before. Maybe uh, you could tell us where this came from. Yes, this was, uh, came from a church in uh, New Philadelphia, Emmanuel Lutheran Church that burned down except for the organ loft, and a friend of mine uh, bought all of the organ pipes for $50 of scrap metal and gave me the pipes. And uh, then I went and got books on how to build pipe organs and finally built this pipe organ for Juanita. This is very nice. Now, what? Now, where did these, uh, I mean, who was the original manufacturer of the uh, pipe? Chance Organ Company. And they are? Uh, Orville. Ohio. Orville, okay. That's what so all the pipes, some of the pipes were damaged and all of the pipes were dirty and we had to wash out all the pipes and remove the dents and refinish the wood pipes because some of them were cracked from water damage. But we finally got all the pipes together and I built the chest and the, uh, the organ console and then now this is the finished pro project. It's uh, 12 ranks of uh, pipes. That is impressive. Now this is what stain looks like might be stainless or no, that's uh light metal which is a combination of tin and lead. Okay. And uh and then they're formed into the pipes. Now these are wood pipes here. No. Correct. I'm trying to figure out what these are. Uh, these are these are beach. Beach, these okay. These are stoppers that um, that tune the pipes. Okay, so you had to calibrate it. Oh yeah. So to, okay. Yes, yes. You tune the pipes by raising or lowering the, the uh, stoppers so that the right note is produced by the pipe. And then on the metal pipes you have the slider. Okay. Which are moved up or down to make sure the pipe is tuned properly. Now, what's, where's all the uh, air coming from? Uh, we have a blower in the garage. Okay. And the blower, um, the output from the blower is, is passed through a reservoir which regulates the pressure. Okay. If the uh, pressure regulated air comes up in the front and is piped to each one of the chests. And all the chests have air pressure inside of them. And uh, when a note is played on the organ, uh, little pallets inside the chest open up and let the air go through a, a hole into the pipe and that makes it play. Okay. Well, I was wondering if she could play something for us. Yes. yes. Juanita? Yeah. Hi, Norris. Hello. How are you? <laughs> Good. Here's some what are you yeah. Hello, Tate. We came here for some Christmas love and cheer. Oh, you got it. You got it. As long as it's free. That's, oh, that's quite a console. Oh, yeah, yeah. Now, you were saying the neighbors the neighbors heard you occasionally outside. This is the whole camp in Cleveland, Ohio. Um, and look at the whole thing. Um, that's about three. That's unbelievable. Mm -hmm. You can buy keyboards, and you can buy the pedal board. Um, but the rest of it, you, and you, you buy the stop pad. Um, and I can make settings by changing these and set. Uh, special arrangements of the stock to play. So that's unique to Hope Camp Tracker or. Um.